Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got two wonderful completions to show you. And these were sent to me by the lovely people at OutdoorType.com. Um, they asked me if I'd like some products to review on my channel. I said, yes, of course. And these are the completed items. Um, this one I received from them in September last year. And this one was uh, one I received in January this year. So this is a new one. And I got this one um, actually as a present for my mum for Mother's Day which is in the UK Mother's Day is in March so I've got it all completed it does just need um, a top coat of sealer putting onto it and then it's good to go and I've got a lovely big space on the back where I'll put a nice little verse or something um, just a Mother's Day verse and uh, yeah then it'll be like a card and a present all in one because uh, she's at an age now where she so don't get me anything and she gets so many flowers that uh, sometimes it's just nice to get to something that's going to last a bit longer than a bouquet of flowers uh, it does just need the back cover taken off this is like a scratch cover oh i love that so noise sorry if you don't um yeah like a dust cover to stop it getting scratched or getting dust on it while you're working on it so then it just completely leaves all of the edges completely clear so it looks like your leaves at the edges are floating rather than having like the opaque background but yeah really pleased with this i love how we've got the flowers on the vase at the bottom to match in and the silver on the vase so it looks like a water type effect albeit we have got the little flowers as a picture on there and then all the beautiful reds and hot pink so yeah it's definitely a Liz one we've got two different greens to give us that lovely contrast on the leaves as well uh, I can't remember whether all of the flowers did have the middles in but uh, as it is I have gone round and put middles in all of the flowers so yeah very pretty come out brilliantly it has got um, a stand but uh, sadly I think I've left that downstairs so yeah it will actually stand up and uh, yeah just something a little bit different and i say i do like sending these ornaments now as a card come present because cards are so expensive these days if you go to the shops to buy them i mean the price of this one was nine pound seventy well yeah i think the card i got for my dad's 90th last year cost me 16 pound don't ask it was just one of those buys um but yeah so you know cards can be quite pricey and this one I just thought was that little bit different and very, very nice. I love these flowers and then the gems in the middle there. They're similar to like a poppy and then we're like roses, aren't we? Um, but yeah, don't ask me exactly what the flowers are because I'm hopeless at flowers. <laughs> And then this one, if you remember, it was one of the first items I got from Outdoor Tide. And it's this gorgeous pink butterfly um, with the silver in the middle of the wings. It's got a little bell on it as well and your little tassel. And it's like a bag charm type key ring. Uh, this one was only £3.49. Uh, and I did uh, let you know at the time when I got it that um, the breast cancer chari charity, the local breast cancer charity that I support, and uh, I went to with one of well a couple of my friends actually who've now sadly passed um the logo for their charity is a pink butterfly so this has got a lot of meaning to me and makes it very special so that's why i got that one and it's double-sided it's come out really really nicely and again it's hot pink so it's a definitely is and i just always i just i like the fact that it's got the little bell on just for that little extra bit so yeah not sure if this one will go on my handbag or not haven't decided yet probably will to be fair um but i have got so many on my handbag at the moment uh yeah it just makes it a bit heavy <laughs> but it'll certainly go with my keyring collection i do tend to find that i have um i swap out my paintings on my walls but i also swap out my uh, bag charms and key rings that i have on my handbag as well and all the others get hung on my uh, notice board in my little craft room so yeah very very pretty really pleased with them really nice to do that was a really quick little project really effective and then i say this one just took a little bit longer and it's got all those specials on it yeah, there wasn't any gem coats on the bags, or if there was, I've not 
not uh, noticed it sadly so i have just got the uh, gems to kick down so unfortunately the standard crystals will just have to go in my uh, donation pile but i will be able to put away the wonderful specials so i've got my specials box out ready here to kick down my special drills yay okay so let's just pop those to one side for now they do need sealing so i have got a sealing video coming up um i think i'm going to spend tomorrow afternoon doing some sealing all right yeah hubby's got his friends uh come to visit this afternoon so i've sneaked up to my craft room just to do a little bit more tidying up and i thought oh, i'll just get these uh, put away as well while i'm up here okay so this is uh two gems we've got the standard crystal which will go in my crystal jar and sadly the hot pink i can't put them away in my number order so they will go in my donation pile and then this one was nine colors keep that little sticker there okay so we've got again standard crystal oh lovely and then just some oh that's a larger pink a couple of greens which will have to go into donation pile and then we've got some red teardrops sorry red marquees and some hot pink marquees and some hot pink teardrops and then two of the uh, ones that i'll have to donate in just your standard crystals in red and very pale pink so that was the colors as you can see lots left over so really good kit so I'll pop those to one side over there. I'll grab my little, well, it's not a jar anymore. It's actually um, a black and white whiskey <laughs> bottle, empty, of course, uh, that I won in a raffle. And it has got our little Millie Moo on. And that's my little Harvey dog that I used to have, a little West Highland White Terrier. So, yay, black and white dogs, black and white whiskey. So I just thought this would just make my jar, uh, my bottle sparkle a little bit more putting my standard crystals in here so yay okay let's pop these into here and then i can reuse my bags now then where's a the funnel Got my hot pink squishy funnel so yay oh we're a bit close aren't we let's see if i can just that's better just uh, zoom out a little bit okay and then we can just pop those into there and if you just go and check out the uh, tools section on Outdoor Tide, they do have all sorts of tools and things as well. So, yeah, very handy. Um, <laughs> are your little funnels? But uh, you possibly won't want to be putting um, your gems into whiskey bottles. Maybe it's just me. Just thought it was a different idea to do there rather than just having them in my jam jars and things. Yeah, I've, to be honest, I kept this because I was going to turn it into a lamp because I do have uh, the little um, black and white whiskey, uh, little like shot glass that goes with it. I am looking for another one to go with it as well, because it's a bit odd ha just having the one. Um, and eventually I do hope to get, there is um, like the bar, there is like the bar decoration that you would get in the pub um, that is like the black and white, the Scotty and the Westie together as like a big um, ornament and I hope to get that one day but they've just been so expensive when I've seen them I've not wanted to spend the money on it um, but yeah so that's uh, my little doggies as it were so, yeah just somewhere different to put my little gems and I just think it makes the green a bit more sparkly I might actually put some little lights in this as well some little um some little LED lights and uh, yeah just light it up a little bit just make it more of an ornament so yay we just have these to put away so oh, I've got a spare crystal there just pop him out of the way so we only need red and pink all right so this is my specials box so it's based on uh, Rebecca Add More Zest's uh, storage system for her resin and acrylic drills. And I've separated this out for just 
larger round drills, marquees, teardrops, and then I've got a category for miscellaneous, which is heart, star, stars, stars, <laughs> stars, squares, trying to put two words together there, uh, and all the different shapes that don't fit into the other three, because you don't get as many of those. And I just wanted something where that if I'm looking for, say, um, a red round, then I can just go to my reds and look in my rounds and I can substitute ones out and things. So, yeah, I am gradually putting them um, with code numbers on as well as I do come across the code numbers. But that's going to be a job over probably a few years, but I've got plenty of time to do it. So, yay! Okay, so let's have a look in the reds first because we've just got the one red to do and that, that is a red marquee. So the marquees are the ones that are like the, I don't know, like an oval shape with the, the pointed ends there. So we'll have a look and see if we have got any of these already. And if we have, we can put them with the friends. So it could be those. Yeah, if you're matching them up, if you look actually on the back, you get a better perspective of the size of whichever ones they are. And then obviously the front is the colour and they have got um, the facets on them as well. They're not like um, a plane. You do get sometimes where there's no facets on and then they look just slightly different. So that's just some different ones that I've got. As you can see, lots of them. Oh, they're pretty. Got all the colours in that one. You see all the different dancing colours. Sorry, I've got a bit of glare today. I had to put the light on again. Oh, I've got a round one light there. Look, escaped, escaped into the marquees. We'll leave him there for now. Oh, I've got a bit of plastic in there as well. <laughs> oh, I've been having a party in there. Okay. He's worked hard to get into there, I'm sure, so he could stay in there for now. So we'll just put these into this bag. It has got a number on it, so that's great. This is an M045. You tend to find, oh, I've got some small little crystals in here as well. Whoa, the reds have definitely been having a party, haven't they? Uh, yeah, you tend to find that um, the marquees, the, if you get a special drill one, they start with an M. And if you get a teardrop, they start with an S. I know, you'd think it'd be a T, but no, it's an S. <laughs> so that's that one. So now we need rounds, marquees and teardrops in pink. Okay, so let's have a look in our pink. Uh, in my colours, I have silver, gold, yellow, um, black, white, green, blue, pink, red, purple and the orange. And orange also incorporates um, any that are like a bronzy or a brownie colour because uh, you don't tend to get many of those in the special shapes. So I've tended to just put them in with orange because, again, you don't tend to get that many orange ones either. If I do start getting a lot, then I may put it in its own category. This does need separating out and possibly putting another row into another box because it is getting too full. And as you can see, all the bags are popping up. So it looks really, really messy, which, yeah, gets on my nerves. I don't like it. Um, but uh, I do need to get that done. It's something that uh, I will get done eventually. It's on my list of jobs to do. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to look in a large rounds first for these pink rounds. And that's those there. Okay. I've just got so many of them now, I couldn't possibly just put them all in one bag or put them, you know, all in just a pink bag or whatever, because as I say, there's just too many of them and it would be just ridiculous trying to find one. I'd probably spend all day. So I'm looking for quite a palish pink there. And these are all hot pinks. That looks a little bit paler. That could be, no, oh, I'll leave it there for now. That's another, well, that looks a bit paler. Oh, that looks too pale. And that's another one. I think that might be slightly larger. Um, that's the right size. So I'm just looking through these to see if we have got this one. If we haven't, then I'll have to make a new bag. As you can see, there is a lot of them. Uh, no, that's too big. That's definitely the wrong colour. So let's have a look at these. I think this could be a new bee. Ooh a new bag out so let me have a look at these okay uh, 
no that's definitely too pale that's too pink <laughs> if you see what i mean uh, that's not the right color and they're the wrong color as well so we have got a new one Ooh, okay right let me grab a little bag and we've not got a number to put on it sadly they may have been on the packets and i've just not seen them because i do sometimes when i'm doing my specials get really excited and don't realize that uh, there are those little um there are the numbers on the bags i am getting better at it though i have uh, mainly noticed on most of them recently so that's a new one in there to say that because you then get a new bag it just makes everything else pop up so i do need to sort this out right now the next one that i do is marquees so let's get the pink marquees out okay so we're looking for a hot pink smallish marquee they're a pale pink and they're a hot pink and oh oh are they those could be the last one yes it's the last one okay we're just about to say oh not another new bag but no they are definitely those okay yeah we like our hot pink <laughs> Okay, get those into there. Quite a lot of them left over as well. Very nice. All right, put those in there. And then the last one is the bigger teardrops in the hot pink. Can you tell why I ordered that one? <laughs> okay, so they've got an iridescent coating. Could be that one. It's not that one because they're more of an elongated teardrop. And they look like, are they teardrops? Oh, there they are. They're very rounded teardrops. And just some different colours. They're too small. And the, the teeny tiny ones, look at the end. Okay, so I'll pop those back in there. And we'll put these away in here. Oh, I think we've got a little bit of plastic in there as well. But I'm going to leave it in there. You never know, I might come in for something handy. It's one of those things you think, oh, I could just have done with that if you throw it away, so I just have to keep everything. <laughs> right, so that's those done as well. Okay, I'll just quickly show you the miscellaneous, just so that you've got an idea on miscellaneous. So I've got squares there. I can't even remember what they were from. I've got a lot of them left over. I've got some ovals. I've got some little pink flowers. And they're, oh, they're big pink flowers. And some more pink ovals. And some little teeny tiny hot pink hearts. And some gorgeous flowers. And some little tiny pink ones that have got a star stamped into them. Some bigger pink hearts. And some more... Um, pink ones that have got a star stamped into them so lots of different ones very very nice so that's just how i do my storage and um, you know there's lots of different ways and it has changed from time to time as i've gone through them and done different things with them as well but this is how it is at the moment <laughs> Okay, well, huge thank you Outdoor Tide for sending me those. Um, thoroughly enjoyed doing them. They look absolutely wonderful. I'm sure my mum's going to love this for Mother's Day. Uh, rather than getting flowers that she has to look after or a plant, she's got one now that she can just sit and look at. And it's not going to be a card that uh, just gets put back in a drawer. So, yay. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me. If you have, thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.